Travis, how are you handling this? This is not, not what you expected. As far as what goes, one and three, the, the start. season. You know, uh, I think it goes. You know, everyone handles different things differently, obviously. And uh, you know, we we had high expectations coming into the season, and this is kind of a shock to uh, all of us. And we're still trying to, you know, figure out what we really need to do to fix everything. Uh, do I think the season is over? Not at all. I think it's uh, you know it's still just beginning, and uh, we can still turn this season around and make it a great one. It sounds like you guys are confident. I mean, Alonzo, Tyler, you are saying you have confidence this thing can turn around. What, what gives you that confidence? Because, I mean, it, it started rough. So why, why do you think you all can turn it around? Well, you know, to begin with is, uh, you know, we came out yesterday and had a, a team run and everyone was positive. You know, the morale was high. Uh, there wasn't one bad attitude that, uh, you know, someone might have thought that there would have been. Uh, so that shows uh, – that shows signs right there. And when you look at the film, it's just like the small things, kind of like what Tyler was saying, is, uh, you know, from as far as our side of the ball goes, from producing a touchdown and stuff like that and changing the game. So it's not anything drastic that is just like a blown assignment or something like that. It's just the small things. How was the attitude last night compared to uh, the attitude the Sunday following the Alabama game? You guys more positive, you think, because you guys were, you know, fighting? Uh, better against Rutgers? You know, I thought uh, both Sundays that we came out yes, uh, yesterday and uh, the week before, everyone was just positive. And, you know, you, you you might think, you know, following that Saturday night that there were guys with, you know, their heads down and stuff like that, which might be understandable because you lose a game, you're going to be upset. But, uh, you know, as, as far as I can say about that, it's just everyone was positive. I don't think that there was one bad attitude out there. What do you think the problem has been in establishing the run? And what's the quick fix on that? Um, you know, uh, if I if I could pinpoint it on one thing, then we'd be able to fix it. So, uh, you know, it's just something that you got to keep working and working and working at. And uh, kind of like years before, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Or it's just you got to come every single every single week to practice with a positive attitude just to work on it. I was back saying he thought you guys had gotten a little predictable in run situations or. How, how, how big a thing is that to get that that fixed? Um, you know, not really sure what it what it would have been. You know, someone could say it might be we were predictable, but uh, as far as fixing it, just uh, you know, to take some kind of pressure off of him and receivers and stuff like that, it's just to be able to establish a good run game. You know, because in order to be successful in this conference, you need to be balanced. What's the uh, back and forth been like with Nile during games in the huddle? I mean, is he? Uh, same Nile positive. I mean, with his struggles, what's it like specifically with you guys on the line? Has there been any? You know, how do you avoid the finger pointing? How's he been? You know, there hasn't been any finger pointing uh, going on on this team, which has been good. You know, I know we emphasize it, the coaches emphasize it. There's no reason to finger point. This is a team. It's not one person. Um, you know, that makes the game what it is. So uh, as far as him in the huddle, everyone in the huddle is a. Uh, positive, you know, especially even when it was Alabama fourth quarter. Um, there wasn't one bad attitude. And I felt like, especially on Saturday night, we uh, we kept fighting and we kept fighting and we kept fighting, which was uh, which was good to see. When you watched the film, uh, what have you thought about the run blocking, the push, the opening holes? How would you evaluate it? From our standpoint? Yeah. Um, needs to get better, obviously which is uh, another thing, like I was saying, just to come out and get better. Uh, this week at practice, emphasize that, work on it just a little bit more, maybe stay after practice a little bit a little bit longer just to work on it, make it a, a good point for us. Tyler said that he would meet with the offensive line at 4 o'clock today. Is this something the quarterback has always routinely done on Mondays with the offensive line? Yeah, especially this year, we've kind of really emphasized that as the coming together as a unit to try and see everything, to make sure that we're all on the same page, to see um, to see you know, certain tendencies and stuff like that. How's the pass blocking gone? These being enforced in so many just obvious passing situations like y'all have had to be in the second half of games this year? You know, uh, you know it would help if we, we do need to establish a run that kind of takes some pressure off of not only the receivers, but us up front as well. So kind of when the game goes on and, you know, you pass, 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 you kind of get a kind of get a little, little hint at that. But, uh, you know, just in order to relieve that from us, we need to establish the run. A&M is leading the league, leading the country in sacks. Just what have you seen in their defense? And what is a concern? You have to throw all the time against them. 
Yeah, you watch you watch the film on them, and they uh, remind, remind me a lot of South Carolina last year. You know, they got a great front seven, uh, very you know active guys, very mobile guys. So uh, we need to take the mental approach as we did that game last year. I know you're busy in the trenches and, and doing your assignments, but did you get a sense of what Kobe was doing the other night? Did you realize how big a night he was having, or have you gone back and seen it on film? And what were your impressions? Yeah, you could you could see it, you know, the multiple times that he would catch the ball and just take off downfield. You know, there's a reason that uh, he's the great player that he is and broke record. So, uh, you know, he just had a he had a phenomenal game. Talk about going back home. I guess Kingwood. That's that's pretty close. How close is that to College Station? And did, did they and recruit you? Um, Kingwood's about it's about an hour and a half, two hours away from me, and uh, I didn't I didn't get recruited by them at all. Just what are your feelings about it? And what do you think all the Texas guys think about it? I know you've gone to the Cowboys Stadium, but now going to A&M, kind of what does that feel like for all the Texas guys? Yeah, you know, I mean, I like going back to Texas. I'm, uh, you know, as far as being up here, I'm, you know, this team is just undefeated in Texas, you know, putting the Cotton Bowl in that uh, category as well. So I know we're going to take some pride in that. It's not a, it's not any game that you would get more hyped up for than another one. It's just a first SEC road game, so there's no reason to – to not be excited. Last year's A&M game, what turned it around in the second half, did you feel? Um, we all just came together at halftime. You know, there wasn't, I remember uh, going in there at halftime, there wasn't any, you know, people weren't yelling and stuff. It was just a very positive atmosphere. Um, no one pointing fingers and everything. And then when we came out there, we made maybe a small, you know, a couple adjustments here and there, but nothing too major and uh, just kept fighting. Growing up that close to A&M, did you go to any games? And if so, what? What do you know about the, the atmosphere there and the you know the game day experience? I uh, I never went to any games there. Um, I just know they have a good fan base. They got a large student section. Uh, from what I understand, it's a very loud, very hostile environment. So it'll uh, it'll be a challenge. Does it feel weird to be playing them in a conference game after the last three years? It was a non-conference game. Um, you know, it, it's going to mean mean just that you know a little more because they're uh, you know they're welcome into the SEC. Which uh, you know, there's a reason that they got invited to come here. They're a very good football team, and uh, you know it's going to be exciting for us.